Yes, lads, welcome to episode 53 of the Value of Talent podcast. I'm your host, Harry Trades, and with me, uh, and with me, and with me as always, the main man, Federico. How are we doing, my brother? Very good. Good morning, good evening, good day to everybody, wherever you're listening from. Um, glad to be back. Glad to finally have the time to just relax a bit, talk about what we love or what we don't love at the moment. That's uh, just a perspective at the moment. And yeah, just excited for the new pod and excited for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's just roll. Let's get into it. Yeah, man, we didn't obviously get together last week, which is annoying. Glenn, what's going on, mate? Um, but we're back this weekend, this weekend, this midweek, sorry, for yeah, episode 53. Feather, new so is here. What do we do now? What happens you know? now, brother? Ah, oh, man, I don't know, man. Uh I am kind of excited, but I'm already a bit shocked as well because, like, not shocked about what they're doing, but because we already knew that. But mm-hmm. I feel like it's so much harder for me to set the lineups now. I don't know why. Like, I it's so much harder. I tried like half an hour yesterday night because I was bored in bed, lying in bed, just scrolling to whatever could be this weekend, and I had no <laughs> freaking clue, brother. Like, it's weird, it was isn't a bit it? of a Rather, it was a bit amateurish, uh, amateurish f- from Sora. They really need to get these things sorted out before. Oh, now it's yellow. Why is wow, it yellow? what's going on? Malfunction. A malfunction, brother. Okay, <laughs> just keep on. Um, yeah, I'm more pretty in yellow, anyways. That's that's good. <laughs> uh, um, mm, so, uh, yeah, what were you saying about Sora? Uh, it's a bit amateurish, brother. Like. Until today, I think we had no in-season filter for the in-season uh, game modes. It's a I bit know, crazy, crazy, brother. Like, man, I it's know. a four billion <laughs> company. Like, that whoever puts out those tests, like, they need to make sure that that this is in there. You can't run, just can't put the product out without having it in there. Like, and I, I just feel it's a bit way more chaotic than it was before, but. We are at the beginning and they are iterating and so it's going to be much better, I think. I probably think at the beginning of next season it's going to be a completely new interface and everything, as we know, Sora. At the moment, it's a bit so-so. I'm not the biggest fan. It's quite complicated, not the best for new users. New users at the moment don't understand shit. Like, if I would be a new user, I wouldn't understand anything. It's basically like uh, two years ago when some when you had to explain Sora to somebody and then you basically had to sit with him one hour on this computer to explain him everything and that's basically back to that and I hope that before the new season starts we come and go back to the to the moment where it's basically a self-explanatory explanatory and yeah uh, yeah, it's just what I feel Um, I feel like I feel a bit lost not like I don't know how to set my teams at the moment I probably the good thing is uh it's a car it's a how do you say that in english car friday the, the it's not deadline no no not deadline the the day when jesus died car friday oh man how do you say that in english wait let me check uh car friday <laughs> good friday good friday so right. good Friday is on friday so it's off of work so i have a bit of more time to set the lineups for the first time so that's not it's not the worst to be honest yeah i mean i don't know honestly i think the ui is good i i really do i i when i say good i mean it's better than what it was i really do like i i don't think it could have got any worse personally but i think it is better like i I don't know man because i think it's i feel it's like more difficult to understand where and what to put your teams in for example like ui is ui is perspective wise in Mm. season written smallly in here is just not enough for a new for you uh user just put the in season make it a golden um golden uh, not golden but color then, basically no. illustrate them golden or like frame them golden so oh, you mean like word. this this bit yeah, here exactly frame this one right. bit, and then the other one you leave like that so you understand this in season and the other one is classic season because i switched yeah. so many because i was not paying attention and you just basically have to pay superbly uh, attention, but that's just my that's a good point. No, no, I, I do. Opinion. I agree with you with that. Actually, yeah, I, yeah, it's not. Like, yeah, it's not clear enough. Like if really. you see like this, you don't really understand if you really don't look closer, which is in season or classic season, which should be easier for users to understand and to put their team in. Basically, 
that at least that's what I feel. I like the left part. I think that's good. Uh, yeah, they need a, and, yeah. I think they need a plus here under the team B and the so that because you can still put more teams even if you even if right the, yeah because you could do a team right this exactly thing. so this needs a plus so that people don't really get confused um okay. i think this bit up there in season and classic season needs to be a bit more focused or as i said with the frames because mm -hmm. it, a friend of mine needed to like especially with the cap modes he he didn't yeah, this, really understand this is how weird. to if you like yeah. click this, it goes back to 220. So yeah, exactly. And he didn't understand how to exactly. And he didn't understand how to go to play Cape 240. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Because he, yeah, he it, was he was yeah. saying it's Cape 240 gone, and I just see Cape 220, and then I had to explain it's upstairs in the cursor, and then he ah right. uh, yeah. So the, it's 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 good, but definitely it can be yeah. I mean room for improvement, but 100. I think I think the whole platform Sora is good. But definitely room for improvement. Mm -hmm. How um yeah, I mean going back to the whole Oh your divisions. Um, I see some trees there. How the hell is there a tree? Well, that's Premier League. I don't know. I don't know how Premier League not I don't know how it works, but I don't even have any goalies left there, Fedder now with Sam Johnston. So Premier League has in season, season it has uh I didn't Classic I actually forgot season. that. Forgot that that yeah. they have uh uh, the classic and in season mode, and you can win reward boxes apparently in them, which is fun. But you can win reward boxes everywhere, right? In all the classics, not season modes, right? Yeah, all the classics, but not in season. Yeah, yeah, yeah all the classics. But yeah, I kind of I love the pictures. The whole... I love the pictures. So yeah, the pictures left. are fine. Pictures are fine. I do think though, like what you were saying, as far as um, yeah, where where to play your cards and stuff, it, it is a weird one. I, they they said so, in that update today that we'd be able to see you know where like the amounts in each division, but it doesn't look like that's out yet, does it? Exactly. I I think it's it feels super weird to me to be honest, like for real, especially because I need to pool myself completely different because normally I was checking okay who are my best superers. I play them in also rare plus. Now I don't play them in also rare plus anymore, so they're gonna right. come go into super obviously. And now it's uh, mm -hmm. do I play them in division two? And try to win division two instead of division one, where everybody all the ways will be basically. So it's a completely okay, okay. mess in my head, and uh, it's gonna be some time until I get super useful to, used to it. But do you but, think? Uh, do you think in? Yes? A, I don't think in any world you'd want to play division two over division one. I don't think. I really in don't. classic mode, I think so too. To be, I think so to be honest. You do. So you mode, think playing classic. Challenger Division, division yeah, two, 2 could be better than playing Division 1. Yes. Better by, you know, more chance of a reward. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, yes. Mm. I don't know. So that's D2. This is D1. I mean, it is obviously quite better, but uh, still. Because there's like, only nine how... prizes here, which but is But number one is going to be Team Bambi. Number two is going to be Bellama. Number three is going to be... Um... Uh, Pranksy, number four is going to be uh, Nanzo, and number five is going to be so uh, PSU fan. So why should you play that? You know, you understand what I mean, right? But not every week. Like, come on. But I get you. Yeah, obviously we're going to see them at the top a lot of the time. Of course, but of course, but that's why that's why I'm prioritizing, or at least in my head, maybe I'm thinking stupid. There, to be honest, maybe it's not the best. Uh, I think if you're in the division to start, I think it's probably worth just going for it for the first one. Because, like, if you do lose and you're shit, then you go down anyway. So, you know, I know it's next week and there'll be different matchups next week. But I don't know. I, but then the thing is, Fedor, the one thing that is being missed, I, I think, a lot of the time yes. is between now and August, if you don't play in a division, you stay in there. Meaning, it's crazy, like yeah, you said, but obviously, you're yeah, but that, that doesn't happen in August, though. In August, if you skip a week, you get relegated. That's crazy. Whew. Yeah, I dude. know, I know. Footy for life, what's going on, mate? Um, what's the lead saying here? You can, you can also only see the number of submitted entries, not total possible entries. Is that per division? Man, I love this portal picture. 
It's sick, isn't it? That's like, I didn't even think I have my I can play my port. Well, I knew I could play them, but I forgot that they're there, which is fun. You have loads um, of team and challenge are possible, brother. Like for real, holy moly. Nah, I lo nah, I do, but I don't. As in, like I'll only play one super rare team because also, my other super uh, goalie will be in under twenty three super. Rare. Yeah, it's gonna cool. be a very weird game week to set my teams. To be honest, just just also because. Am I gonna prioritize in season or classic season over cap? There's no way. Do you play all star? Cap you think you're gonna play all star? I'm not gonna prioritize all star anymore because you don't have the the, the e you don't have the eve under like until the payout of the ten hundred right, plays. Just, it, so it's I'm just, not gonna prioritize it anymore for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure not, especially not the super rare. So I'm gonna with my super rare. I'm for sure trying to win those divisions, especially the classic ones, and uh, yeah. What are you doing about it, under twenty three? Because ooh, very have you seen very it? hard, bro. Under twenty three Ray only has two stars, and I'm not happy about it. Like, yeah, I'm not happy about it as well. Previously, under twenty three Ray has always really had two stars, but under twenty three Ray Pro would have like four or five. Yeah, but I and, reckon a lot of very good under twenty three cards are gone out of that competition because they're playing in in a Champions, more competitive, uh, more right, rewarding right. competition. Mean, yes, right. You don't think Bellingham's are going to be played here, basically? I don't think the new in-season Bellinghams are going to be played in there, to be honest. Fair, right. But there's not much difference between an in-season and an out-of-season Bellingham. That's in very true, but, three, but you know? still 60, that's still 50 Bellinghams gone out of the competition. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, good you point. Know? Yeah, yeah, good point. 100%. Uh, Nanzo says the UI looks fantastic, but usability not great if you set a lot of lineups. Yeah, that's Sounds like a weird problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, we have a lot of lineups as well, and... Uh, and, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Not I probably like. I reckon, like for real, I'm gonna time it. Mm -hmm. I reckon um, that uh, I'm gonna take one hour more than before, and probably it's gonna get down to the to the usual time I, I spent on on sorry, setting my lineups in like in a like a month or so. By the way, you won the you won the bet, so we can. What bet did I win? What did I win? I think you won the bet with the the entries of Super MLS uh, ah, Special Weekly. Yeah. What was the yeah. overall under? What was it like? A hundred. I think it was twenty five, and I said under, and you said oh. uh, over. Pretty for, for unique or, or super? No, for for, for super. <laughs> and what? Um, oh no, I was going to say yeah. And what was it? Sorry, in super, I forgot. I think it was forty four or something. 50, no 56, something like that. Pretty pretty. What do I win? I win. Um, uh, give me another Emmanuel Reynoso Super Rare, please. <laughs> no, no, you win this. Uh, the community wins this Heba Pena I won, and he's gonna get he's gonna be given away. Should That's we give him away what... today in this stream? If we give, give him away on Twitter today, as you wish, like he's gonna, yeah, get... we'll do it. We'll do it in the stream. There's nearly 50 people in here. We won't do it right now, we'll do it at the end. But thank you for that, Fed. Yeah, yeah um... that, that's your price, brother. So. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. No, I'm going to... So Jonathan was saying, if I put my team in, I can see how many are in the whole... Not the one division I'm in, but every division, if that makes sense. Like, of in-season challenger. So let me just do this quickly. I just want to see if this works. So, let's go like that. So where does it tell me... How do I find that out? Do we know? Jonathan, let I me know, please. I don't. Do you get what I'm saying? Or am I just being stupid? Prize pool. I haven't looked. I haven't looked yet, brother. Jonathan said you can see how many that are in the like division as a whole. Is that right? You have to refresh. Sorry. Okay. Jonathan says I have to refresh. I'm still not seeing it. Am I? Are you seeing it? No, I'm not. But Jonathan, not... help me out. Help a brother out. Daniel Cooper, what's going on, mate? Uh, Rizzle, yeah, I will be doing lineup building tomorrow, mate, for sure. Uh, 44 Life says, I'm so sad. This new update for me is so bad. I always pre played in the kickoff competitions and now they have removed it. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't ah, really know what was stinks. going on with that, to be fair. That stinks. Uh, but weren't so they supposed to remain? Right. Got you. Got you, lad. Uh, say that again. Sorry, fellow. Weren't they supposed to be to remain basically the, the, uh, the pickup, until August? Ah, there it is, Feda. See that thirty-three so in season overall or in Division One. I think from what Led just said, then that means overall. 
that's that's not is that right lads let us know in the chat that, that, that can't feels... be you don't think you think that's just division one do you it could oh no it be... is division one yeah yeah jonathan says it is division one yeah okay and how many p how many how much does it pay out 10, ten, car, ten... Uh, ten, ten cash rewards yeah uh, how much is the low 130 130 what do you think that gets to the 33 Bro, I'm a bit uh, disappointed with the super rare cash rewards, to be honest. Uh, if you look at the super rare cash rewards in, in comparison to the rare ones, uh, it's pretty mm -hmm. hard. Like, if you look at that and you're uh, an in intelligent season. investor, you should basically sell all your supers, but you can't because people are not buying them at the moment. And uh, and and just except for Pavel, uh, Pavel uh, except, and uh, and <laughs> start and and focus on the rares because uh, the prices are similar and uh it's like a fifth of the investment you're gonna put in right but can i give you let me give you pushback wait wait, wait wait so what nashi was saying i think rings true more than ever now in that the whole you pay more for higher scarcity cards because you're up against less people right yeah, but so, those less people have even crazier teams. So sometimes, um, well, yeah, but that's just. I mean, it's it's hard. Uh, he's he, probably he's referring that to unique because he now transitioned to unique, and uh, I kind I of agree there with well. him because there's probably like 15 people playing there, especially mm -hmm. in the in season one. Let me check uh, in season challenger. How many do you think will be in season challenger rare right now? Already. Probably yeah. 240, and I hope it's going to be more. I hope. You think it's more than 240 in D1, by the way? In D1? Okay, that's yeah. Yeah, 150. Yeah, just D1. 150, let's see. 150, let's have a look. If I need this... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 110. One 177. Yeah. Not bad, but it's going to be more because it's just Wednesday, brother. So that's going to right, come, right. Go up to and 30. what have you got? Sixty card, uh, sixty cash that's rewards. Sorry. Great, brother. Mm, that's not bad. Like. Fifty bucks as well. You're gonna play, so but you're you... gonna probably play your Lucha Costa in another team. Yeah, I'm not playing. Yeah, I'm not playing a Costa here. Yeah, but I was just. How much did you pay for paper? I probably need to buy a paper. Twenty pounds. <laughs> for real. Yeah, I think he's still like twenty pounds now. Is he? I need to buy one because I I, I know on me. I know I now own Conceição, Diogo Costa, mm -hmm. and Evan Nielsen all in this new card, so can push him to two percent. I'd rather have Wendel. Yeah, bit, you need Wendel. More expensive, right? Yeah, his price has doubled actually in the last couple of weeks. I bought him for like forty quid. I think he's like. 80 odd now actually yeah he's good he's good yeah he, he is looking good just played for Brazil by the way well. I, I bought three i bought three mls in season cards with oh one. i sold on one then. in season i bought i sold one in season mls rare goalie and with this right. I bought rare in season cards so that i compete can compete as i said for the last two weeks of it of the last two game weeks sorry wow the houston boys yeah yeah i bought the houston boys Bro, I can't lie to you. I watched Artur play on on Friday on Saturday. He actually cost me a reward, by the way. So I'm really annoyed. But he was so bad, I couldn't even like watching the game was so painful. Fede was really really bad, mate. And I have one. I still have one. So I'm not trying to depump your player here. But, no, bro, he was rubbish. They played away to Colorado. Okay, obviously, you know they're away and whatever. But like, yeah, oh he. He didn't touch the ball. Like, he wouldn't come and get the ball. It was strange. For, like, a deep line six, bro, he didn't want the ball at all. It was that Jan Gregus. He was coming to get the ball every time and, like, trying to do things. And yeah, I don't know. Ball up. Bro, it was weird, honestly. Like, I couldn't believe how much he didn't do anything. Like, I was shocked. And his scores are pretty good elsewhere, apart from the last five games. But, Let's see. like, I... Bro, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he, You can tell he's a good player. I'm not saying he's not a good player, but... Like in the game, he literally didn't want to touch the ball at all. It was really strange. No, I, I I understand what you mean. I'll be playing him this weekend though, and hoping he scores a hundred, of course. But <laughs> like, understand I what you got, mean. You've got him cheap there, bro. So 
Yeah, I mean, what's that? 70 quid, 100, 130 quid for three cards? It's not yeah, bad, is it? Bad. That's not bad. And people it's were just sleeping on uh, Karaskia because he was on 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 national duty the first weekend. Ah, but... uh, right, yeah. But I, as I said, I didn't want to play the first one, so I'm mm -hmm. fine with that. And then probably going to buy Hector Herrera once he's minted because he has no new cards yet. So and uh, then maybe a Stephen Clark and then Rocket in in Challenger in season after the MLS special. Okay. Just okay. just over the summer and just have a bit of fun of it. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. I'm I'm. So the great thing is, I just have to watch one Houston game to see if I'm if I'm winning something or not. Basically. You win anything? Yeah, <laughs> it was fun because on the weekend, like after yeah after that Houston game had finished, the game week was done for the MLS special weekly. You know, so there was no games on the Sunday. I don't think for whatever reason. So it, it was just nice that you know the the game week for that competition was done. You kind of knew where you stood. Yeah. Um. After like a day, you know, a day or so of the the competition or you know the game week opening. I thought that was pretty fun. Um, just catching up on the chat there. Cameron says, so wait, so in Challenger D2, there are 1,325 people. It says that on the leaderboard. Yeah, I guess that makes sense for sure. Um, I'm pretty sure amateur leagues are cancelled, I think. I think that's what yeah, somebody should, was saying earlier. Should, be, should, 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 yes. Um, but the, yeah, they said something in the blog though, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they said, let's have a look. Let's have a little... They mentioned something in the blog about common cards. And I'll be honest, I did not read it properly because I didn't really. Here we go. Yeah. New common. You... Well, not too much. Yeah. As described in the latest blog, we are introducing basic and advanced tutorials for each of the in-season comps. These tutorials will provide a comprehensive guide to help new managers learn and progress as they develop their managerial skills. Once the manager wins all possible rewards in the tutorial, then the tutorial is completed and the manager is ready for the next move up into the so uh so into the pro sore competitions however in contrast to our previous tournament these tutorials will not be available to managers who have previously ever submitted a lineup with five pro cards interesting hmm. so it's literally for like brand 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 new players which is fine to be yeah, honest. it says here by restricting sense. access they will compete against managers from the same level giving them a better chance but yeah it does kill like we've seen a couple of guys in the chat there say, you know, they can't play amateurs or they can't play semi pros, I guess, anymore. Um, and a lot of people did play those comps. So yeah, it gives it gives it gives everyone a decision to make, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, like am I gonna do I wanna stick in a few, you know, 30, 40, 50 quid and, and actually try and play this game or not play, basically, because you know, Sora have to make money somehow, don't they, at the end of the day. They do, um, they do. You know. That, not, you know, we're not going to survive. That's the thing. Right. We do we do forget that, I think, from time to time. As a, yeah, but as I still music. hate them, so. <laughs> oh, Fedder. Fedder, Fedder, Fedder. Oh, man. Well, I'm happy the uh, leaderboard thing works now. That's pretty fun. Are you first? I'm first right now, but I don't want to jinx anything. I have a, one player to go. I don't know if it holds, to be honest. Um, Who's playing? We have Argentinian league games. We have Croatian oh, league yeah. games on Friday, but yeah, but only you know, only some, right? Only yeah, yeah. It's very small game week. Very, very small. small. I think we have Millwall playing though. I think Millwall so no play West Brom. Zan Fleming had yeah. a game, and uh, Leicester play Bristol City. Um, but most championship clubs have a uh, double game week this weekend. Fed up, They are do. You, are you rock? Are you rocking your bazuna? Yeah, I don't know where. That's the thing. Like for real, I'm, I'm a bit shocked. Like I don't know where to play my players anymore. Like where should I play my bazuna now? Like, bro, I, honestly, yeah, classic but... season. Like for real. Like I think he... I, I think I played him in under twenty three actually this weekend. Like from what I've done my lineups for already. Um, yeah, I think the problem is I always like to play with Kai Walker Peters and. Uh... Yeah, he can't. Ah, you know, okay. Yeah, free, yeah, yeah. You know, and Kyle well, Walker should go. be should be back. So yeah, interesting nice. to see. Like uh, I don't know, I don't know yet how to play. It's gonna be very, very interesting. And uh, but no be... one knows is the fun thing, right? Like nobody no knows. No one knows. Being honest, and I'm gonna and I think... see. Yeah, I'm interested to see how the reward payout is gonna be like, or how it's gonna feel like. Like if it's gonna be easier to win a reward, harder to win a reward. It's gonna be interesting. For real, yeah, it yeah, it depends on what comp, right? Are you gonna play champion super rare in season? I could, well, just but... any, like any, like 
I could play it, but I think I'm too weak for it. You're gonna play classic then, yeah? I don't know. I'm not gonna play classic for sure. Like you are sure. gonna play or you're not? No, if I play, I play the in season one. Ah, uh, okay. Uh Jonathan just said prize pools have been updated. Hmm. Like how Is that something we should... can you, yeah, can you like explain? How... Like Explain to us, Jonathan. Anything? Any drastic changes that you can? Uh, well, there's still there two star rares in uh, in limit in uh, under twenty three, so nothing's changed there. Um, Paul says, just pause Harry and Laird to watch Harry and Fedo. It, it looks, it all looks like utter chaos and shite to me. But I've got a twelve hour night shift to figure it all out. Well, yeah, Let's I think go. we're all in that. Yeah, we're all in that uh, boat. To be honest, as far as figuring things out, um, yeah, it, it does. I, I filmed a few videos earlier and I literally I described it as a clusterfuck because it does feel like that in a way. No, no. As uh, I said before, like, I don't know. I, I felt overwhelmed, like, for real. Like, yeah, no, I, I, as well. I haven't done a single lineup and I have never done that in the last two years. Like, I haven't done a single lineup on a Wednesday night. Like, that's crazy for me. Like, believe what me. What do you mean you haven't done one? Like, I haven't done a single lineup yet. Like, Oh, like, yes, I haven't, you haven't. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like, I haven't done a single line of yet. But you haven't even bothered, yeah, submitting no, any no, but at all. I, I tried it like an hour and I said like, it had, makes no sense because when I put this one line up, okay, then it's, it feels good. But then I look at another line up and but then I think, oh, this guy actually needs to go in there and they uh, mm -hmm. can't be in the other team. So, because it, it's just a complete. Uh, labyrinth uh and it's gonna be very fun to be honest i'm, I'm not gonna enjoy this game week especially problem is it's easter so i won't have too much time um um watching games but uh yeah hopefully i can catch your, your, missus locked you, your missus has locked you up this weekend does she nah it's just it's just too much i have to go sunday friday mass and then uh saturday uh have to you have to buy all the stuff for the easter feast and everything like basically mm -hmm. for, for eating and everything obviously yeah, yeah. so i have to the go out and buy that <laughs> and uh no, the final supper is uh <laughs> tomorrow basically uh and uh it was on on monday but um yeah who cares so <laughs> i have no time watching 40 this weekend uh, the problem is there's a very big game. It's, I think, the Classica by Munich versus Dortmund. Is there any yeah. other very big games I have to watch this game? Uh, yes, this, uh, this Man City Liverpool. Oh, yeah, that's a big game. No, Man City Liverpool is... played, uh, didn't they play like Oh, no, no, it's Man City Arsenal. It's Man City Arsenal, I think. Yeah, Man City Arsenal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Sorry. a biggie. When, when are they playing? Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know. Ooh. Let us know in the chat, lads. I'm going to say, oh, I reckon it's Super Sunday. I reckon it's on Sunday. It should be Super Sunday, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It should be. When I watched Germany yesterday, they play some good football at the moment, like for real. Who did, sorry? Germany. Germany, Germany. They they beat France oh, yeah. and Netherlands. And uh, wow. I could cry as well because they now have lost Adidas as their sponsor. And uh, Who's the sponsor? They, now it's gonna be after the Europe. Uh, it's gonna be Nike, which is absolutely crazy that Nike is gonna sponsor the German national team. But uh, it is what it is. Money talks in football. Apparently, yeah. money is more important than everything in football at the moment, which is not the bad. It's not a good thing, way in my for opinion. A while, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's destroying the beautiful game, to be honest. But uh, what? By the way, what do you think? What What is your opinion? actually mm -hmm. interested to hear that what is your opinion on this in this proposal of timeouts and football like is that is that the blue card thing yeah the blue card thing yes like basically that you get blue card you go out for five minutes and, and then you come back yeah I, I don't like it if i'm being honest i really don't like i mean i yeah i've, I've watched they don't like it as well games. but they just try to make it like like the NBA okay. or ice hockey, where you has a oh, is that the yeah. same as it? Uh, where you have a like power a sim play, bit. yeah, you have a power play in this time frame of five minutes because you're obviously one man behind, uh, and right? Yeah, then you can attack and attack. So that's what they're trying to do, so that more goals are, are scored because for them, for them, for they're those boring, guys, yeah. it it says that's two two less goals scored. It's boring. Especially for like the youth now. Now the youth is basically just uh, as we're all addicted or them. I'm not in the youth anymore. I'm too old for the youth. <laughs> I'm a young man, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not a teeny. Uh, but they're freaking a addicted boy. to. 
you're freaking addicted to all that dopamine level shit and everything and oh, like uh, take talk and whatever yeah, so yeah. of course sometimes a 90 minute game of football could mm -hmm. be a bit too boring for those generations so they like watching basketball or whatever where every freaking two minutes or every freaking 20 seconds something happens which is right. completely overkill for me like i can't watch the basketball game it's just too much brother like for real i know it's like it's, oh, it's funny explosion. I, yeah that, that's funny i actually had a conversation on last saturday with um with yeah two friends and they're both american and like they were basically saying the same thing, like football is just too boring for them. And I basically had to say, well, you know, American sports are, are designed for loads of stops, loads of chances to eat, loads of chances to drink, loads of commercials. You know, with football, it's 45 minutes, 15 minute break, 45 minutes, right? But like every American sport basically has a stop after a couple of minutes or like, you know, and basketball after is after a quarter. couple of seconds. I mean, American football, you know, has stops every minute, it feels like, you know. It does first down and all that rubbish. There's no, Whatever, there's no right? fluid game. But uh, right, don't no get me wrong. I, I do like NFL to buy. I watch the NFL. It's sometimes. fun. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I do I'm like, not but, it's not like, fun. But basketball is just overkill for me. Like it's too much happening. Like you know, you can't even like at least in my opinion, you can't even be happy if your team scores because it's gonna score ten seconds later again. You know what I mean? Yeah. So where are the Wow points. Where's the, the only... happiness? Yeah, the wow points the only... is at the end when it goes to overtime or something. You know, like yeah. that. Is or the when, point. or when LeBron makes a dunk or whatever. That's the only wow right. points yeah. you have in this fair, in this fair, game, fair. basically. But it's it's yeah. just happening all the time and every time, and and I don't like the being that if you don't miss, if you don't, uh, if you don't actually score, mm -hmm. you're a loser in a way. That's that's a, a bit what uh, basketball is transitioning because it's it's harder to not score than to score for those pros basically for those guys not for us again too, too good basically yeah yeah for <laughs> those professionals it's harder for them not to miss than yeah, it Steph is. Steph Curry literally like doesn't miss <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly so it's like and I don't not like never scoring a goal and, and that's uh, that's just so, that, that's it's exactly not gonna happen yeah fun, he's always gonna, gonna miss chances. Take out. Like. Take out all the fun <laughs> of the fucking game. But, uh, yeah, basketball for... But then they have, like, sports like American... Uh, like, baseball, like, where nothing happens. Like, right, yeah. Yeah, we can't... Yeah, happens. baseball's a different level again. <laughs> like, literally nothing happens. <laughs> I agree like, with uh, Nanzo here. It's literally a glorified saying? dinner. Like, going to a game in America, or even watching it at home, like, it's like an afterthought. Like, it's just, it's just on for the sake of it. You're not actually, like compelled to really get yeah. into the game obviously if you support that team it's different but it just it just has to be an experience in general it has to I be mean, an experience are, yeah. like everything in america everything has to be an experience like there's no fandom and whatever it like has to be experience and yeah. that's why they go to messi stadium because it's experience to watch messi wow and uh, the and yeah it's it has to be experience yeah, um funny. everything it is funny how different sports needs to be have, like, bloated up like I, I love America. Don't get me wrong. I love America. Like for yeah, real. But same, uh, same. but this this part of America, everything being bloated up and everything is not my favorite. Yeah, it's so commercialized, and I don't know. Don't touch our beautiful game, isn't it? I like I like our beautiful game as it is. I think it can be boring. Like I do think. So Man, when I was watching in college, a Serie A game is hard this. sometimes. Like, right. Yeah. But when I like, when I played in college, right, there was no there was no draws so it had to go to overtime so if it was nil nil in 90 minutes you have to find a winner in overtime you could it's basically yeah. golden goal it's not 15 yes. minutes 15 minutes it's like whoever scores first wins in extra yes. time and i thought i think that is pretty fun like it means we'd never have a draw again i don't know how that really works for leagues and but that's stuff. golden goal in a way yeah golden goal in every like after 90 minutes basically like however yeah, long great. it takes to score I like, yeah, I like I think this that's idea fun. that I don't like you know it's going to be a winner. I hate draws. There's yes. a guaranteed winner. You know? Yeah, I, that's not a bad idea, to be honest. Like, And I, I think, think they should one. They should weaken, in my opinion, 
they should weaken the offside rule a bit. Like it's getting out of hand and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's getting stupid. And, Wales got and, fucked yesterday because of no, no. But it's just, just not fun anymore. Like it's it's destroying the game. It's, like it's for just real. Getting, yeah, we're it's talking just destroying the game. Here. It's just stupid. Like if, like if your freaking nose hair is in front of him, it should be freaking <laughs> offside. Like for real. Like it's it's just destroying the fun of the game. Like I for know. real. It's getting stupid. And, it is getting stupid. I know. Ah oh, man, like I hate and this says, offside rule. Like, of course, if you're like two meters in front of offside, that's offside. But let's mm. make it like let's make a rule like five centimeters, ten centimeters is fine. I know. I know. Daniel says, I think it's more there's going to be more goals as well. Sport. By the way, because I don't yeah, know how many be. goals we call off of offside nowadays. Like, uh, literally twenty percent. Like for real. Yeah. E- easy. Easy. He knows plenty of diehard NBA fans who are glued to the TV for every possession. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Like, if you're, you know, an, an avid fan of that sport, you're going to be. But I think for a casual, it's, it's a bit different. Um, Hunter says he watched a baseball game live, haven't eaten, hadn't eaten so much in his life. Completely agree with that. Um, saw some chicken fingers, then you got some mac and cheese and whatever. Which game <laughs> did you watch, Nando? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, have, well, I watched only... one live in my life as well. For real, I did. Yeah. And I actually agree with Nando. I, I went out four times to get a different snack like for real <laughs> and well, then, and the only time and the only time something really interesting happened is when this kissing cam was on somebody actually <laughs> again it's it's like the off the field stuff it's the breaks that are fun like that's the whole point of american sports is commercials and kissing partners and all that sort of stuff um yeah but uh, you there's surely people who love that and it's completely fine that they love that like for real for sure uh, Glenn says, "What does Glenn say?" I agree, but I just I, if I, I just hate too. like what I miss is just in all these American sports. I just hate the hatred. I, I miss the hatred that some fans have against each other. Like you have to hate somebody to really want to beat them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, I, I just, you, do you have to hate them? I don't yeah, know. man. Like this, it, it makes part of the game. Like it's fun. Makes it's it's part of right, the fun of the game. It that was. You have to beat fucking Dortmund. You have to. If you don't, you yeah. go and go. Uh, and in like in America, if you don't beat your biggest rival, oh, okay, so be it. Let's go and try it next year. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a different there's a different mentality out here than um than the UK and even Europe. But like ask I don't like th- yeah, go on. Man, Spurs and Arsenal, Inter Mila, or Boca, Boca River, man. I don't wanna try even wanna talk about those guys, you know? I know, but, but there's not uh, many of those left. Like players don't many care as much anymore, you know, like Roy Keane versus you know. Vieira type of situations, they don't exist anymore, especially in the prep. Especially because they're all playing together now in the national team, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Basically, exactly. so and they're all they friends, really like they're all social media yeah. friends, yeah. and yeah, they're all friends, man. Man, I, I saw a freaking, yeah. I saw a a, a reel with Hakan Chananolu, Memphis yeah. Depay, and somebody else. How the fuck did they get together? Like for and they were oh, playing, oh, they're friends, Mesut Özil, yeah. and they were playing. They were playing some uh, futsal in 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 Turkey, basically. But it was Hakan okay. Chanolu, Memphis Depay, some other French guy. I don't know, man. Uh-huh. Like, the hell <laughs> it's a good five side with? team, yeah. How how did how did, how do how did they meet? They never played in a team together, you know. And I don't know. I, I saw a picture actually, like all the people that went to Memphis's birthday or something. There was like the most random players. Man, there, there was that you everybody met. there. Bro. Yeah, like everyone got an invite. Like, even <laughs> even all the Real Madrid players were there. Everybody was there, bro. <laughs> I, I remember David Alaba showed the, the the big invite on his Instagram story with Memphis. No way, did bro. he? Yeah, man. David Alaba is freaking defender of Real Madrid. He should never go there. Like. But now that's the thing. That's just modern football. No one like the players don't care. They're just getting paid. <laughs> like they don't care. I, like the fans do, but I don't think they the don't care. Do. That's a big problem. That's why they're destroying the sport. Well, yeah, yeah, Premier I agree. League. But Premier who's League fault is that? destroying the sport. Is that their fault or is it the is that the money's yes, fault? Too much money. It's too much money in there. It's way too much money. That's why I'm right. always looking forward to this. Euros, World Cups, because it's just not about the money there. It's that's why I love supporting Wales. Like I know I'm Welsh, I'm kind of I have to, but like there's no money involved, you know. Like they're not playing for money; they're there yeah, because they were born in that money, country yeah. most of the time. But um, then you have like guys like Ben Chilwell who don't even want to play for their country anymore, and uh, not Ben Chilwell. Play... 
Ben White, uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, Ben White, Ben White. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, there's loads of those guys. Like I know, I know. Holy moly! Like, did you did we lose all honor? And it's just about money now. I don't know. But <laughs> but can you blame it? It's hard, isn't it? We're not in their positions, so it's so easy. I don't to know, say. man. I I think you can't blame them. Like, if you if you earn that much money because your your country loves that sport so much. At mm -hmm. least show at least a bit of respect. If you're caught up to your country, go and play for that country. Yeah, we don't know the ins and outs. It could be a Southgate thing. Of course, if, if, if they hate each other and he attacked them sexually, right. I don't know. Then could be something yeah, yeah. different. But if it's just out of, oh, I want to rest, I want to go on a break, you should not do that. Like, well, we all know Ben White hates football, don't we? So, like, he, he literally says it's a job. Yeah, he doesn't like football. <laughs> like, his dad doesn't watch it. Nobody in his family cares. Like, it's just a job. Like that, he's come out and said that multiple times. So, yeah, I get it. How is I think he so ben good? Though? I mean, how, how is he good enough to be a professional at Arsenal? I'm not thinking he's a more class player, but how is he so, so good in comparison to so many other guys making? Some people that are just blessed, it. aren't they? Like some people are just genetically very good at something. Uh, you know, I'm not saying he come out of the womb; he's just amazing at football. But obviously, it took, you know, it was nurture as well. But some but people are just really good at things. The, <laughs> but it, it but. Basically, if you, mm -hmm. if you, you maybe he liked it at one level. point. Yeah, I yeah, agree. He with had it. to like it at one point, you know what well, I mean? I had a few friends when I was at Newport after I got released a few years <laughs> later. Ben Ben White went on loan to Newport from Brighton. Okay, when he was like, yeah, I could even get the exact. Let's have a look exactly when he played for them. But he was there on loan for like a season, and the boys who I knew that were playing there said like he was just unbelievable. Like he was insane. So he went on loan in 2017 to Newport. So he would have been 2017. How old would he? Oh, he would have been 20 then, roughly. 1920. Um, yeah, I, I'd argue he probably liked it then. But whether he likes football now is a different thing, right? Um, maybe he likes what he, Maybe he could just like playing it, just doesn't like watching it. That could be. Could be uh, maybe, like yeah. It. Yeah, no, it could be something like that. Uh, apparently, Carlos Vela is similar. That's interesting. I mean, I don't know. I get it. I think Benoit Suakoto was the same at, at Tottenham. I think multiple people have come out and said, like, he literally just hated football. Like, he just was good at it. And it's a job, right? At the end of the day. I know us viewers and us fans look at it and go, oh, well, it's the best Who job in that? the world. Sorry? You know, you know Benoit Suakoto? Yeah, yeah, play yeah. For, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Apparently he hated it. Um, I don't know. It's it is strange, but like I get it. Like there's a lot of pressure and stuff. Like, there's nothing like crazier to play for your country. No, it's like no, I know, I know. Yeah, I I, I can't as a Welshman, like you said. You know, yeah, I, I, I can't as a Welshman, that. like a, as a every no, but you've got to want. Yeah, but you've got to want to like. You got to want to play for your country. Like if he doesn't care about England, then why would he play for them? You know, I'm not saying he doesn't, but yeah, man. it's it's hard. It's hard. Uh, that's that's philosophical sections. We shouldn't talk talk about those. Yeah, We're here for so rare football conversations about that. Uh, no, I am, but uh... <laughs> oh, you are, you are clever enough. Are you? Yeah. Um, well, yeah. That's a right. Back to one. back to Sora. What 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 have we had? Sorry, what have we not? I hate covered? them. I hate them. What do you mean you hate them, Fedek? I hate on, them, just brother, let, let loose, let loose. Come on. Man, la last week was the first time in my life I thought about selling up. I, I can. <gasps> I can dun, really. Dun. I can, I can I can uh, confess you that can... now it's gone already. But last so it's out in the ether. Feda contemplated selling up lads. Yeah, I, I can't imagine this was the first time. You've definitely thought. No, about it's this the first time. time. It's the first really? time, brother. First time. Wow. I always loved okay. and believed the story and everything. But last week I felt spat in the face like completely. Last week I was seriously depressed with them. Those decisions they made. But can we give context? I, give context. Tell, I understand tell them. But yeah, I hate them people, uh, for releasing new freaking river cards that are the same freaking cards. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you rant. Keep going. Come on. Let me get Man, the popcorn. Right there. Let me go get a Brother, popcorn. It's the freaking same freaking cards. It's the same photo. It's the same everything. It's the same <laughs> year. Everything. They just changed the year. And nothing else. It's it's the same stupid faces on them, and uh, <laughs> they just. And I don't understand how River actually agreed to that because River probably had, they had to re renegotiate and everything. But 
-hmm. Apparently, they said we have to do it so you can earn more money, blah, blah, blah. And, and okay, I understand everything. Do what you have to do because you have to sell your in-season cards. But then at least start from you minted three before start the new this new form of in season let it be a four of ten just not start as money greedy lovely people um <laughs> <laughs> start from one at, again look at this so rosenberg out on today and i think led's gone over this look at Brother, that rosenberg i think they <laughs> they released them and they didn't have a single game with the new cards Really? Well, I just won this guy as a tier three super rare. Brother, I, brother they released ago. River. They released River at the beginning of November. That was right. the, the league was done already. I think it was already two games left of the old season, which they now cured them to, yes? And then they had one and a half months pause. So they started in um um they 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 started to Especially my Mamana lost 5%. I don't know why. Which I really hate, uh, by the way, he on top of that. He doesn't, do, he doesn't deserve it. No, Mamana doesn't even have a new card. <laughs> why did he lose 5%? <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> probably, probably because they hate you, Fedor. Like, for real. Like, for real, they hate me. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, I was imbecile enough to buy all the new cards, shiny new river cards. I wanted them. I wanted to be prepared for this freaking season. For this summer, right. basically. Yes? So yeah. and uh, so I had basically one and a half month of them being new cards before new cards came out. And I mean, I, know, I, could I agree have with you, man. Saved all I... this freaking money and just spent them. Man, it's the freaking same picture. <laughs> it's everything the same, brother. <laughs> so we're literally printing money from the ether, brother. It's. I can't, I can't. Like for real, that made me so depressed. Like I felt so stupid. Like I felt so. I know, but worth. this is like, I like, know, I know. Like I spent so, like, do you re do you even care? Like, and I understand them having to sell those in season cards, and to have in season cards on the platform, people are wanting to win. I understand mm -hmm. them, but if you knew this shit. Apparently, they don't know their own product. That's the problem here. Because if you knew that, don't release them in November. Just release them in February. And everybody would have been superbly happy. Me included. But maybe, yeah, I know. But maybe we're missing, maybe they're missing some information that we're not. The only missing you know. information we have is that they thought, they thought about this new big thing at the beginning of January. Had one and mm -hmm. a half months of doing this. And now I think they and now explain us they planted for years. That's the only explanation. Because if you had the information that you were planning to do that, and you don't want to fuck up your customers, which I believe they don't want to do, you right. should not release those cards in November if you know you're gonna release new ones in February. You should just not. It's just a spit on your customer's face, in my honest opinion. So the only I, I reason do, and the only mm -hmm. the only explanation for that is they didn't know that they needed this in season ones. They they, they didn't had they didn't had a clue about in season or classic season in November. That's my only explanation. And yeah, that, that's I don't know if that's thing, good or, yeah. or or bad. You know. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. With so rare, you just never know, do you? You don't, you don't know what we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Sometimes it's very questionable as far as what. Yeah, what decisions they make. And this one is one of the worst, I think, in a, in a while. Charlie says, fair point on the River cards, but I assume it was a big reset. Summer leagues all released in Feb, March, and then European leagues released in August. Random leagues releasing uh, randomly. Random leagues releasing randomly with a big no. Man, I have yeah. no, as I said before, I have no issues of them being released. I would have been the happiest motherfucker alive if they would have <laughs> not released the November ones and just released the February ones. I know, I know, I know. You know you what I mean? Them. I would have splashed yeah. even more cash probably on them. Now I just, mm -hmm. I'm, I just don't want to spend any money anymore. I know, I know. Yeah, they, they've, yeah, I know. It, it leaves just a sour taste in your mouth. I, I do get because it. I, really I don't do. know if I can buy them. And in two months, they 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 now have the new jersey of River because it is <laughs> the new season. And in two months, we have new River cards. So I don't know if I can buy those cards. Like for real, like this. Is I don't the even think they know. I, I don't think they really understand the Argentinian pissed. league. To be honest, no, they don't understand football. That's the problem. <laughs> 
Would you would you take a twenty five percent refund? On those cards? No. Yeah. Yeah, to me, yes, and I keep my cards for sure. 100%, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm real. saying. That, that they should offer that. That would be good customer <laughs> service, but they are not. <laughs> Holy moly, man, for real. And it's the freaking same card. That's what makes me furious. It's the freaking same card. I know. It's it is like I can only laugh because I'm not involved. You know, it's one of them ones where obviously if it was myself, I'd be as angry as you. I, I would, fact. Um, I'm not yeah, laughing at I you. Came, I'm not I came over this. it. I came over it, but I, I know, was I know, seriously I know. pissed last week. It is that's, fucking annoying. That's the reason, like, by the way, we didn't so have the pot last week because it would have right. been too dark. Would have been way too dark. Yeah, I yeah, we had to. Uh, yeah, we couldn't allow Feder to um, speak his mind last week, lads. We had to put him in a cage, lock it, blanket over it. You couldn't see out. It was just one of them where you know he was fed. Fed bread and water for a week, and we had to just, uh, yeah, allow him to settle down for a bit because, yeah, yeah. And settle down a bit for real. That that was needed. And uh, <laughs> Mike, <laughs> he's found the yeah, only he, way to uh, cheer yeah, you. Twenty five refund for real. That's the that's uh, <laughs> the, come on. Mm -hmm. Nando says perhaps this is a taste of things to come in August if the new cards aren't ready for the start of the season. What is in? If we don't old have season. new cards by the start, ah, right, yeah. They they just use the old pictures and everything. I think that's what seeming. Right, right. Could yeah, be. good point. I didn't think of that. Yeah, Man, I'm just, a good point. and I'm I'm very curious now to see how they're changing the MLS auction um, behavior on themselves because, as I said, I think it makes more sense to auction the biggest chunk of their auctionable cards at the beginning uh -huh. where they have the most value. Then instead of keeping it long until the end of the season where nobody actually wants those cards anymore. And then they obviously have fetch lower prices also for themselves. You know? Mm -hmm. No, I agree um, with you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's a fine balance to be struck, isn't it? Yeah, two grand right now, 49 minutes ago. Poo, that's not that much for Lionel Messi Super. But last... he's always injured. He's always injured, brother. Yeah, I know. I know. I think he's done. To be honest, do you really? I think he's man. He's he, the problem is he needed. Uh, in my honest opinion, I think he's the greatest ever. No, jo no, no oh, doubt yeah, about yeah. that. No yeah. doubt about that. But I think he needed. He needed this constant training in Europe to stay on on sharp, fit, and everything. Mm -hmm. And now with the MLSness, where you can do whatever he wants, basically. And I don't. I don't think he's gonna keep on playing two more years. In this. With this speed, basically, I think in Europe he could have done that easily, especially because he doesn't move as much. But right, yeah, yeah. If you don't train, you don't. You have too much holidays and everything. Then you start to get injured a lot more because your muscles are not trained. Your not, muscles are not warm and everything. You know this better mm -hmm. than I do. Yeah, so, yeah, no, I agree with you. Yeah. And so pff, it's gonna be interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, it, it gets harder. Obviously, the older you go, I'm not, I'm not in my 30s yet, but I'm going to assume that even for pros, it gets, it gets tough. Um, but I yeah, think, especially I, he doesn't run as much. That's what I'm saying. Like he doesn't wrong. really move. It's just, it's just getting him on the field. It's not so much him being on the field. I don't think the problem is, it's just getting him fit enough to where he can just walk around the field and just dance around people. You know, that's all you need. You don't need him to run yeah. 10k a game. You know, he just needs to run probably 2k, <laughs> 2.5k maybe. Yeah, not even probably 2k. Not just, even. Yeah, not even. And the, the the rest of the teammates are doing the work for him for real, but uh... oh, for sure, yeah, that's what they're doing. They're just buying loads of runners in midfield so they can <laughs> they could just run around for Messi. Um, yeah, but I'm looking Suarez. forward. I'm looking forward to be honest uh, to tomorrow. Where I can set up my lineups, and then we will see. Yeah. And next week, I will I will tell you how it went and uh, how I felt <laughs> uh, setting them and everything. Yeah, and yeah, I think uh, we do a nice giveaway now. And then I have to yeah, go eat that. because it's very late. Yeah, no worries. Okay, um, have you got a question for the people, Feda? Mm, who's the who's the better Sora manager, me or you? No, everybody no. who said me, and and you're just eligible for this for the for the for the <laughs> giveaway if you say me. By the way, who's who's the who's the player you're giving away? Sorry, it's this uh, lovely. Hey, but not much, but uh, yeah, have a pinna exactly. Okay. 
Five quid, okay. seven quid. Oh, it's that's better than nothing. Right, so Fed is, Fed is going to give this by way to one of you guys in the chat. Um, shall I think of a question? Quickly. Yes. Uh, okay. I hate it when I hate it when I have to think of questions. Right. Wait. No, no, you can. You, okay. Um... No, no, no. I got one. I got one. I got one. I'll get one now. Wait there. You can okay. just shuffle it. Are we, read, are we ready for this? Yeah. Two players for Wales yesterday versus Poland got last man tackles. Who were the two players? I don't need full names for both, just second names if you need. Let's go. Two players. Feta, do you know? No, I don't. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, two, I just know how much Wojciech, last man tackles. I just know how much Wojciech did, nothing else. Oh, we have a winner. 82 points. Who's the winner so I can send him over right now? It was, well, two people have got it right so far. Um, Glenn Hoddle was first, though. So, Glenn, congratulations. Um, yeah, what's his, Kevin what's Brack. His <laughs> right, Glenn Hoddle, what is your... Um, sorry, yeah, gallery name. Fed, I'll I get know that. Him. I know. Oh, is it? You got it. Perfect. I it's thought it the, was. Uh, it's the one with the... Yeah, yeah, it's the... You got him? It's the one with Andy Bremen, no? Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, it is. It's this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, congratulations. Showing your age, Mikey. No, Mikey, no. I know you're in your 30s, mate. Don't worry. Um, okay, lads, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm glad we got a semi... Uh, what's the word? What is the word? Functionable feather this week because yeah, I was last good. week. Man, that, you were very good. Have... I'm joking. I'm joking. Last, last week would have been a very dark place, brother. Slack for you. I know, I know, I know. But we're out of the dark place, and that's that's kind of just the goal, isn't it? To just get out of dark places. This was um... just scratching the surface. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get into it. Maybe, we, maybe we should reenact it. Do like a little uh, skit, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. Nah, but that was fun. Obviously, get together next week, see how the first game week went. Um, it's been a pleasure, lads, in the chat, obviously. Thank you so much for watching. And Feather, thank you for, for joining me, mate. And uh, yeah, big one next week. Good thank luck this much weekend as well. Everybody. Yes, yeah. have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun with well, the new system. And let us yep. know next week. See you. All the best, lads. Peace.